just to show you if it's worth the cost. Yeah, Rachel Owen, whether it's a smartphone that you give your child so they can stay in touch during the day or whether it's a tablet or laptop they take to school for classwork, the electronics can easily cost between $400 and $1,500. And if you've ever had to repair or replace one, you know it's difficult to budget for those unexpected costs. Is that clear, I think so. Try as you might to keep the screens away from your littles. By the time they reach school age, many teachers are encouraging students to use electronics in their studies. And one of my sons left his just in the locker, and I think the locker was open in the gym. He had just turned around and walked away for a few minutes and came back, and it was his device was gone. According to the Department of Education, 14 of every thousand students fall victim to a theft on campus. Your insurance might pay for the loss, but only if you can back up your claim. So make sure Make sure you take pictures of electronics now and make sure it includes a picture of the device's serial number and keep your receipts. Some insurance claims require proof of payment. You might be able to add a special rider on your homeowner's insurance to protect your kids electronics, but make sure if they get lost or stolen, it won't increase your rates. Homeowner's insurance will not reimburse you if you drop your phone or if it just stops working. That's where gadget insurance can help. Companies like Square Trade, Mobile Rhino, and Worth Avenue Group offer multiple plans that pay to reimburse you when you damage your phone from drops, spills, and all sorts of other accidents. For example, with Square Trade, you can pay $109 to cover an iPad Pro for two years. You'll pay a $49 deductible when you file a claim. Research first what it might cost you to fix a cracked screen on an iPhone 6, for example. Apple will charge you $129. Through Square Trade, you would pay $129 for a two year plan and then a minimum of a $25 deductible. In that case, insurance costs you more than the actual repair. But fixing an iPad screen is much more expensive. Apple charges $379 to fix the smallest iPad Pro screen. If you had basic square trade coverage, you would pay just $158 for the fix. So Consumer Reports does not recommend gadget insurance and instead suggests you take the money that you would pay for the plan and save it in case something happens to your device. And the yeah. big word is in case. Yeah. Maybe you've got some extra money at the end of the year. Or buy 